Welcome to day four of Common Denominators. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what we've done on the other days. And we're going to be looking for a least common multiple. Now you may remember this, hopefully, from when you have seen it before. But multiples are kind of like the opposite of the factors. Instead of breaking a number down, you're going to be multiplying the number. So let's look at an example of this and why we would use this. So if we had three twelfths and one eighths and we're trying to find a common denominator, then um, we take the bigger number and the smaller number does not go into the bigger denominator. So that's not going to work. We could multiply 12 times eight, but now we're going to start getting into having really big numbers. So they're a little bit harder to work with. So there are, there are other ways to kind of break this down. And one of them is to find the least common multiple. So you take the larger number and you times it by two, which would be 24. Two times 12 is 24. So we're gonna do two times 12 equals 24. So once we have that, we can see if eight goes into that. Eight does go into that. Three times eight equals 24. So our common denominator is actually going to be 24. Now, how do we get our numerators? Well, since we multiply the eight by three, we're gonna multiply the one by the three. So three times one is three. And so we, so we multiplied the 12 times two, we're gonna multiply the numerator up here three, we're gonna multiply three times two, and we're gonna get six. So it's, it's that simple, except, and you'll see now they have the common denominators, which is what we were looking for. Now we could add or subtract them. Sometimes it doesn't happen so easy. So let's try this. We're gonna start with the bigger number and we're gonna do two times 16. That equals 32. Six does not go into 32. So let's try three times 16, which would be 48. Oh, six does go into 48. Okay, so how many times does six go into 48? Well, six goes into 48 eight times, so we're gonna do eight times six equals 48. Sorry, I started writing a four. I was getting ahead of myself and writing the 48. So anyway, so eight times six equals 48. So here are our multiples that we want to work with. Um, this least common multiple is going to be 48, and that is for six and 16. So that will be our common denominator. And then since we multiplied six times eight, we're gonna multiply five times eight and we get 40. And since we multiplied, this was our common denominator, it was 16 times three. Then we're gonna multiply this numerator by three and we get nine 48s. And you can kind of just check to make sure those numbers make sense. Nine 48s does seem about the same as three 16s. And five six is a similar kind of number to 40 48s. So yeah, once you have that, then we'd be able to add or subtract. So that's how that works. And good luck with your lesson and your practice, I mean, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.